Hello crafters, welcome to Creator's Home with G and today's video. Today I'm going to be using this pack of two um, nests. Now these are from Poundland. You get the larger one which measures approximately uh, five inches and then you get a smaller one and that one measures about three inches. But you know the, sh the silliest thing is they've hot glued these polystyrene egg forms into the uh, nest. Now these are meant for you to auto yourself and they've hot glued them in. How silly is that? I mean that, that's my personal opinion. I just don't understand why they would hot glue those in. It just makes no sense at all. Um, I'm going to use these in my spring tree. Um, I, I did talk about them in the haul video and said I, I might just not hot glue things in but I can just buy another another set and use them in my Christmas um, tree for this year. So I've got some moss, I've got some um, faux uh, fern and I've got some little birds from my stash and I'm just going to alter these um, to use in my spring and Easter tree. So I don't really want it to be as, you know, um, what's the phrase? I want it to be a bit more um, natural looking. So I'm just going to add some more natural elements because at the moment it looks too, too neat, too precise, too manicured. And I don't necessarily want that. So I'm gonna put in some fern, some of this faux fern. Just, I'm going to poke it in and have it coming so it comes out and then attaching one end with my hot glue using my good old spatula from my store. Come on, I don't think this hot glue is hot enough yet. Okay. Use some of the moss as well. I made sure I bought quite a few bags of this moss because it does sell out very quickly. Okay. So parts of this I'm just going to poke in, but on the outside I will probably use a bit of um, hot glue this is really quick and easy if you can control the hot glue this is something you could do with your children during the um, during the Easter holidays but this I will have on my tree throughout this, this spring period where did that go? there it is ok and I've got all these little birdies I'm just going to clip off take out his legs so I don't need those should I put a few eggs in there I think I should okay and I've got some of these faux eggs which I'm going to glue in and they're obviously used on another craft because it's already got moss glued to the base which is fine which is perfect This one's got a robin, so I'm going to use this robin. And then maybe put this bird. I'm going to put this bird in there as well. Okay, let's glue this in for the 
for the smaller one. Because the thing, I mean, the thing that I find with um, bird nests is that they're not necessarily all made of twigs, they're made of all different types of things. So I just want to make this slightly more natural looking. Sorry if I was out of frame there, crafters. As I just, as I said a little while ago in another video, I recently changed my room around, and the um, the uh, craft area that I've has slightly changed to what it used to be. Um, my camera's higher up, so I keep forgetting that it is higher up. So. Then it says higher up so you can see more, but then I keep forgetting that I have done that. Okay, let's put some moss in the bottom there. And some moss on the outside. And then let's put another birdie in. And then we have two really simple pieces of home decor for the spring period. You could just put these on top of candlesticks if you wanted to. That would look really pretty, just on two different height candlesticks. Or, or you could put them, or, or what I'm going to do is put them on my, um, my slim tree that I have in my bedroom. But um, I shall take some pictures of them in the tree, and I shall also take some pictures of them on some candlesticks just to give you another idea. And um, um, I hope you uh, find this inspirational in some way. Gives you some ideas of how to decorate for spring. And I will see you again very soon, crafters. Take care now. Bye-bye.